today, in this video, we will be discussing here some technical explanation concerning what is called Maru Meru. Maru Meru means to, to roll and are special techniques concerning the season tradition, especially in what is uh, Kumobito and Onigumo. Uh, the application on Kumobito or Onigumo is uh, it's based on depending on the line it's applied. For the Yabu line, for the Yabu village uh, and descendants, will be applied on Onigumo. That will be our first explanation here. Then, going directly to what, it's, uh, what is the technique, in this case, remember that only more were techniques where uh, we are in grappling situation when the opponent tries to throw me, tries to take me down to the ground, and we will employ this movement in order to revert the technique and we'll apply a quick movement to perform a liberate or to break different uh, joints of the body of the, of, the, of the opponent. And in this case, for example, uh, she tries anyway to perform an Ashu Daoshu. For example, she is trying to throw me. I will jump here, but this is wrong. What I have to be is here on this point in order to use my heel in order to take her to the ground. And at the same time that I am falling, I am uh, going descending in a vertical line with my knee in order to break here. Here, if you take a look, what we have is in a special position of the left, but it's a little bent. And in this position, we have the power to attack this special weak point because here, in a, this for the side uh, strength, it's uh, less. Then here, it's very violent. We could also for here, we could I could extend here in order to make a movement in order to break to this point, this is a knee lock, or of course what they usually perform is to have this control here in order to break here, fall into the ground, or like that, packing the ankle. These are some explanations for the uh, acid also performance. On the cardio dosi, for example, that it's another typical sweep that you could, you could see. As she tries to uh, go inside and try to sweep my body, I could block my body. I could be preparing going to the ground at the same time that I am going to this point. I have this powerful lock here, but of course that I could fall to the ground in order that my knee break completely with a regular strike here on the knee and of course I could step forward here and I could also knee down on the ankle that will be uh, causing a special pain and of course the risk of breaking the tibial, the crural uh, area, etc. Then these are explanation what, of what it's Marumeru for the Yabu line when we are applying this kind of violent and quick movements on Onigumo. But what it happens inside, for example, the, uh, the Kawa line, we will be uh, especially on uh, conditions like the Ikumobito. For example, right now I will be the, the thrower, I will be the tori, I will be the one that tries to, to throw up her. In this case, I will perform Kagiotoshi, and from this point, when she is falling, she will try to protect herself. Then from here I will perform and right now when she's on the ground she will try to go face down to the ground in order to take take out maybe a tanto, take out whatever he could want here. Then for example, if he is face down to the ground, first of all to control her body, avoiding him to grab any tanto or whatever. Then the Marumeru techniques used to and roll to entwine or members or limbs as a way to uh, give conditions to avoid uh, hair protection and give me conditions to, uh, to, to, to win this fight. Then from here, what I will do is I will, having this leg here, I will go up the tight in order to reach this point. Of course, that he will be uh, protecting against this kind of this kind of movements or this kind of movements that is uh, uh, different 
uh, parts of Kumobito. But the idea is not here. The idea is to pass this, to grab this one here, make it to this point, and passing my leg over in order to perform a sankaku here. The point here, when we are here, is that she will try to take out, because here it's impossible for her to take out his legs, her legs, sorry. As you can see, it's, it's restrained. Then she has here this in order to try to press on my knee, in order to get out, she will try to press. Then I have conditions to grab this arm here to my body. I will be keeping my sankaku here. I will go forward and right now I have the shoulder lock here that will be very nice. As you can see, I am restraining her both legs. This is a very difficult position to arrive at, very advantageable for me because I am here over her legs and I am control, controlling his lower limbs. My uh, my uh, forearm gets control here and of course that we are in a very advantageable position for uh, defeating our partner. Then, this is an explanation for this, it will happen also when uh, she will be falling uh, down to the ground and protecting on a different, for example, maybe, at least stand up. If I am performing a Ryo Tekayo Doshi, trying to go here or she tries to do it, for example, and what I am doing, I am going back, and right now, she will stand on, uh, on Kame no Kamae. Kame no Kamae in order to protect or trying to reach her knife in order to try to uh, maybe uh, stab me or whatever. Then right now what I will do here is I will enter here, take a look that my pressure, my weight is weighing down in order to give conditions to avoid her movement. I take out his, her, her hands in order to open and right now I have conditions to reach her body here. If you could look, I could go right now, running here, sorry, running here, I have here my technique prepare for having the sankaku here. If you could see, what I will need to do here is to put together, sorry, put together her, her feet and having the control here. If you could see, this is a powerful lock that we have on the ankles. At the same time, if you could see, that we have the Achilles cross here, the Achilles tendon. It's uh, restrained by her, her ankle. Then like that, we have these powerful movements that we could restrain. As you could see, my legs are entwined, my lower knees, with her, and we have powerful movements like that, if I grab here and I open, and it's very violent, very painful here, and of course that we could go to different conditions like that, that are also very powerful here. They are very powerful movements like that, that we have on several movements, different kind of grass to the, to the calf, grass to the ankle, we have conditions to open here wide uh, his waist, attacking to the, to the hips that are very painful, etc. in order to perform these kumobito techniques. Then, uh, as you can see, we have uh, several conditions, several techniques in order to apply uh, on the yabu line, as we have seen, it's like an oni umo, it's quick, it's fast, it's something that you could go directly when you are on a grappling uh, circumstance. And in this kind, in the cowl line, it's more like when you are uh, really grappling on the ground. When the opponent is trying to protect, in this case herself, and trying maybe to draw a tanto or any blade weapon that could uh, be a dangerous uh, circumstance for you. Then, for me, these uh, Marumeru, these rolling techniques, are very interesting for this Onigumo and these Kumobito practices. 
Thank you very much. Keep watching our channel, our videos, and see you on the next one. Goodbye.